German hospital is ditching traffic jams for takeoffs using autonomous drones to deliver blood samples. Could this high flying tech become the future of medicine delivery? Our next story tells you more. From once being a novelty, drones have become an increasingly common sight overhead. And now a German hospital is about to take advantage of the little flying machines. The hospital is leveraging these agile flying machines to revolutionize the delivery of time-sensitive medical supplies like blood samples while effectively navigating traffic congestion. Traditionally, these blood samples are transported by car, of course. On the road, we have a great deal of uncertainty when it comes to transport times. Depending on the time of day, it can take up to an hour or even longer if things go badly. Air transport takes exactly 12 minutes and is always safe, regardless of whether there is a lot of traffic, whether there are a lot of lorries on the road or just a few, it takes 12 minutes for the blood samples to arrive. Developed by a Berlin startup called LabFly, the autonomous drone is capable of flying on its own and is remotely monitored. The drone can transport up to 7 liters of payload and can travel a distance of up to 25 kilometers. The unmanned aircraft has been granted the authorization to operate over populated zones and an operating license for the transport of dangerous goods. Essentially, the drone flies completely automatically. This means that we have a route that is programmed and the drone follows this pre-programmed route. Now, of course, it can always happen that something comes up, that the landing site is not free or that other aircraft come into the area where the drone normally flies. That's why we have a remote pilot who can, in principle, control the drone from anywhere in the world. Apart from having a remote pilot, Provision has also been made in case of any technical difficulties. For instance, if some of the motors stop working, the other motors have been designed to step in and provide enough power to keep the drone in the air. The company has also added a parachute for emergencies, just in case. In the event of technical difficulties with the drone, various safety mechanisms have been developed. For example, the drive system has multiple redundancies. This means that the failure of one or more motors can be compensated for. This does not necessarily mean that the drone will continue to fly as well as before, but it does mean that a safe landing site can always be reached. Currently in its trial phase, the drone service is expected to launch sometime in May. Once fully operational, the hospital is planning to operate around seven flights a day.